Aries, the Oriole. So yesterday, if you seen that, we'll look at you know saying the Halo or the Nimbus Aureus, all right, and uh, look at Hawaii, Hilo, Halo, and uh, the Crowning, right? We're talking about the Crowning. So we look at the crowning and the wearing of the crown, Corona, and the Nimbus, the Nimbus Aureus and the crowning. And this particular time of art, we understand um, Christian or the circumference of the earth, the whole earth from the fall to the spring was coming across, right? Or hemisphere splitting the earth, pi. So circumference of a circle, these things were founded upon the principles of this travel, this navigation of 180 degrees, an arc, a great arc, great circle. Um, so this great circle and this arc, this halo, this covenant, symb symbolic with the covenant, the bow, the arc, the arc of the covenant, many of these different things. So when we, when we look at the arc, the significance of it, the heavens, the sky, the shamayim, the covering, the protection, all right? The firmament, the rakia. Um, so when you look at the rakia and the covering and these firmaments and how the earth is laid out like, like a garment, if you will. So you know what I'm saying? Four corners, four archangels, 490 degrees, which makes it a full circle. So when we look at this full circle of this earth in this particular time, or the aries and the crowning, when you look at um, ari, Think of a lion, right? Now, during this time of Aries and the Passover and the crossing over, it's symbolic with a lot of traditions, right? Mainly when we're crossing over death into life, when we look at the biblical significance of the Passover, the first burning killings of the Egyptians who set out an edict, right, to have all of the, the male children of the Hebrew midwives slaughtered. So when we look at this is death and the significance of understanding the two twins, two hemispheres. In this process of dark and light, fall and winter, spring and summer. The equinoxes, the solstice, all of these things, the tropics, play, play a role in the navigation. And the story of these traditions, the mythos, the story of these mythos, these mysteries, these hidden things that have been evident since the beginning of time to form our calendars, our language, our writing, our civilizations. So understanding the center was the first essential thing, right? And from the center and then understanding the fall and being in the location of the Americas to begin their circumnavigation into the lands of India to this time of the spring, we look at Aries, the great light, the aura, the continents, the unseen light. Um, so, um, the Shin, one of the significance, if you look at uh, one of these people, the people that have uh, traveled and kept these traditions. You look at the uh, Amu people, what's up? And the Amu people, the Asiatics, and Shu. As you see here, some of the symbolic, you got the shepherd's crook, the foot, all right, and this fowl. You see the hemisphere, the 180 degrees, and you see the crowning, the shit. So these things in pictography have a significance and in interpretation. Many try to interpret it as their meanings, but nature is what gives the foundation of understanding, the observation and function of these things in nature. So when we look at the Hikakasut, or the kings of the foreign land, these are the kings coming from the Americas and coming into these lands and coming to these times um, of Aries. Hold on, why is doing that? I was doing that. <laughs> so, so um, when we look at the killing of the kid, the lamb, Passover, lamb during this time, we understand Taurus, the Torah, and law and order. So, the time of the spring 
to the time of the fall, spring, summer, and fall, it's supposed to set an order of light. Now, things can be hidden in darkness. Behaviors, action can be hidden in darkness, right? But during this time of the light, the order, the ways, the paths in order to to come back into the time of the fall, you had to follow these different orders in order to cross over, like a toll, like a, a process. So the new year and coming into the new year and crossing over into the new year, is, it was looked at as, as paying a toll. Is that what you're about to head up out here? For sure, bro. It's looked at as just like paying a toll, a fee. So this is where offerings, uh, sacrifices, became essential when you understand the need to offer you know what I'm saying so when you look at offerings and the, and the slaughterhouses and offerings um, and the significance with sin with offerings were essential in a way to remove one sin or as a payment uh, retribution for an act you can offer this is where money today is used as a way of removing sin it's because of this tradition of coming into the new year and the offerings, Passover, killings, sacrifice of lamb, the blood of animals. Because it's in the blood of all living. It's in the blood that life living is in. So this is why blood sacrifices, these things are essential in traditions. So anyways, these ancient travelers coming from the Americas, Amu, also known as foreign travelers, Hyksos, many different many different ways that they are explained to be. You look at the Aries and the bullion and the offering, the coin offering, like how you do today to pay a toll, to cross over, to trespass, trespass offering, to come into this time of the Taurus, the bull, to eventually come into the layer of the Leo. So when we look at the layer of Leo, which is August, um, so we look at the layer of the Leo, um, August, which is in the region of Brazil, right? To be able to cross over the sources of the summer to come into these lands. So this is this is um, essential to understanding the need for the offering during the time of these Passovers to cross over to these different lands so that you could come to the ports of West Africa to come down into uh, the lands here uh, in the Americas during the time of Leo. So we understand the Boule, right? The Taurus Bull, and the Leo. This is like an avenue. So in the scriptures, it calls it a highway, right? In the scriptures, the Most High said there will be a highway through Assyria, through Egypt, right? So understand the highway, the Boule, the boulevard, the street, the Ave, into back into the, the New Year procession, back into the time of the fall, following Aries, following uh, the crossing of Aries of to- into the time of Taurus, where you have to, if you're a Taurus, you know what I'm saying, tourism, Taurus, tourism, or take a tour, right, to come into uh, Afer, into the lands of the dust, into the ground zero, to cross it from that region of Africa back into the Americas. This was essential to these uh, first travelers who navigated the world and established these landmarks uh, combining, combining heaven on earth. So this was the circumference of a circle, the diameter of the earth, and this knowledge being here in this land. So the Americas to receive data, information, being in the ending portion of this great landmass, this is what allowed for this advantage. You know what I'm saying? This is why certain areas were essential to building. We look at uh, tourism, tourists I was talking about earlier in the time of May. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about this is from 60 degrees east to the time of 33 degrees east when we look at um, Taurus. And Aries is from 90 degrees to 60 degrees east. So in order to come to this, this mark here of uh, 60 degrees, right, you had to pay a trespass, an offering. So this is why Assyria and these lands, and it talks about in scriptures, about the highway through Assyria. We're talking about the boule, the boulevard. As we know, it takes place on the boulevard. You put holes, heifers on a boulevard. 
So understand the exchange to trespass or to cross over and why the woman was looked at as a whore in some of the texts. And you have to understand the need to cross over Taurus to come into the time of May suns where the builders built it along this line, this ley line of 33 degrees, which forms a great hundred with the Mississippi Valley with the great Virgo. So this is how the uh, Mississippi rivers in the line with the Nile Valley, the Western Nile, West Nile, and these different these different things when you look at all of the the aligned locations along this 33 degrees and you see the significance of the Ethiopians and the goose and you look at the, the mother son the first fruits during this time of first fruits a lot of these festivities seven Sabbaths from the new year which is the 50th day 49th to the 50th day you know, I understand you come into the 50th day and if you do 90 minus 50 right you come to 30 so you can understand Gemini and this process from Taurus Taurus into Gemini to Gemini and Horus right you're familiar with Horus and the symbolic image of Horus I'm not gonna try to make it with my fingers but this land rise this land region forms this great hundred and this mark so when we look at the the Oriel the corona the great circle Right, a circle of light, brightness, something especially depicted with the head or body of a person. Represented. Well, she yeah, had oh, she's so slow. <laughs> tell her to come in here. Um, with Corona, the areola. Then you see Nimbus, the cloud, the halo. So we look at Hawaii, which is 150 degrees east. It is aligned with 30 degrees east with the Gemini. So the territories here from Califia all the way uh, to Hawaii were, were connected. So this is where the big kahuna, you look at the big kahuna, the big kahuna, where that come into play um, with Hawaii, right. the landmarks of right. ancient empire from 150 degrees, 150 degrees west to 30 That's degrees east. That's how I'm feeling too, it's like, 